This is Patches, and you may come across this character in a lot of the Soul series games. Does he have the ability to transport between dimensions, or is it just an alternate version of himself in each reality, but always that cunning, untrustworthy merchant? Well, join me on this guide for Patches Questline, and then you too can master this gesture, Patches Crouch. Patches can be found early in the game in the starting area. You can either skillfully jump with your horse by double jumping down this ravine to this entrance. He's located in Murkwater Cave. Or you can hug the cliff wall under this bridge, head north and to the left. Just be aware though, if you try and enter his cave, a fog wall will appear and you'll be invaded by this red NPC. But if you fight near the bridge you went under, this old NPC will come along and help you out. Murkwater Cave is pretty small. When you get to the first opening, take a right, you'll see a fog gate and you'll find Patches Grotto. He won't be visible just yet, but what you need to do is open this chest and Patches will think you're robbing him, or maybe he just needed an excuse to attack you. But what you want to do is not kill him. You're going to engage in combat. He'll drop down from the cliff up there. You want to get his health down to half, and about that time he's going to start begging for mercy. And that's when you can actually talk to him. Now if you do accidentally kill him, don't worry, you get his bell bearing, you can take it to the Twin Husk Merchants at the Round Table Hold, and then you can buy stuff from them. Okay, so now you get one gesture here called Grovel for Mercy. Now what you want to do now is exit out the area through here, and either leave the area then reload the game or fast travel back to his grotto. There'll be another chest, Open it up, and it's going to be, yes, another one of Patch's cunning traps. You'll be teleported to Limgrave, which is in Mistwood. But what you can do if you're not familiar with the area, there's two sites of grace you can make your way to, going north or south, and that way you can fast travel back to where you want. Patches then relocates to Scenic Isle. He talks of a surviving virgin at the bottom of a water wheel at the Academy of Rhea Lucaria, and this virgin apparently has the ability to teleport you directly to the base of the Erd Tree. But remember, this is Patches. On purpose, it'll chuck you out straight at the base of the Erd Tree. Awesome. <laughs> So at some point you'll progress the game, you'll make your way here up the water wheel, just turn around and what you want to do is head back down the water wheel, but this time you want to go all the way down to the base of the water wheel and drop down to the bottom, and that's where you find the Iron Maiden. Let her capture you without taking too much damage to be teleported, and that's going to progress patches to relocate as well. You'll be teleported to Volcano Manor, and there's no Site of Grace anywhere. So just follow this path to the next Site of Grace, and that way you can fast travel out of here. From this point, Patches will now relocate to Mount Gilmer. Follow this lead for his next location. Now you'll get across this tower here where you'll see one of those big pumpkin head dudes but just beyond this rocky ridge here you'll find patches. As you can see he's left some glowstones here that you need to follow otherwise patches is located here. Oh, um, hello, strange place for a I thought I could use a rest. Right over there. 
you follow his little glowstones that he's laid down here, he's going to have another little cunning surprise for you. Then stay away from the Volcano Manor! <laughs> Bye now! Take care! Okay, now if you're being attacked and you can't fast travel, just get on your horse and run away from any enemies. You'll see this river down here. You can either take a left or right. I'll show you on a map of the next sites of grace you can make your way to, to fast travel where to next. But once you do make it out of that ravine he pushed you down to, go back to where he did push you down. But this time where that pumpkin head dude was, we're going to take a right across this rocky bridge to the next point where Patches relocates to, which is going to be Volcano Manor. Once you've reached Volcano Manor, the site of Grace is just here beyond this round table and there we are located on the map in Volcano Manor. What you want to do next is talk to Tanith here and she's going to offer you to join the manor. So what you need to do here is select join Volcano Manor and she'll give you a drawing room key. First you want to reload the area though at that site of Grace and you want to head back out towards where you came into the building and you'll now see Patches has relocated here and he's going to welcome you to the place. But if we go back to Tanith now, we want to use that drawing room key that you were given, and we want to do a series of quests. Now you only want to do one of Tanith's quests. There'll be a series of letters each time on this table here. So you just want to do the first one and then go back to Patches after you completed it. So the first one for Tanith is to kill Old Knight Istvan. That'll be located as a red marker on your map which will actually be a red summon sign on the ground where you need to invade and hunt down your own kind. So just don't progress the Volcano Manor too far though where you kill the area boss, otherwise that may ruin Patch's quest line. So she'll have a series of letters each time to hunt down these NPCs, but you just want to do one of them, go back to Tanith to let her know you've completed it, and then go to speak to Patches. So we've taken out the first one, Old Knight Istvan, let Tanith know she's going to reward you with the magma shot and then we go back to Patches after that first quest from Tanith and Patches is going to give you his own quest with a letter Okay, so Patches is giving you a letter for his own quest after doing one of Tanith's quests and basically it's going to be another NPC that you need to hunt down and they're pretty tough so be prepared. This one's an enemy called Great Horn Tagaroth and again it'll put a red marker on your map and it'll be as a red summon sign on the ground.
once you have defeated Great Horn Tagaroth, go back to the Volcano Manor and you can speak to Patches again. Hello again. Welcome to Patches. You hunted down Tragoth? Are you certain? No, it's quite all right. Fine work indeed. I'll give Tanith the new. Have some rest by all means. Cheers for that. Once you've completed all his dialogue, just go back to the site of Grace, reload the area again, and then go back and speak to Patches again. Hello again. Welcome to Patches. <laughs> Sharper than you seem, aren't you? I was just holding on to it for you. You know, there you go. The reward for hunting Tragoth. Oh. Okay, now you get rewarded the Magna Whip Candlestick from Patches. Alright, now the next uh, NPC for Tanith, because what you can do from this point onwards is you need to progress it now would be the time it's okay to kill the area boss in the Volcano Manor. And you can either progress through Volcano Manor to do that, or you can finish off the rest of Tanith's quests by invading those NPCs, you need to hunt down your own kind, and once you've completed all of Tanith's quests, she will teleport you to the boss. I see that you've stayed the path of champions. This is your usual rule. Perhaps you are ready. Our lord will no doubt. Yes. As it should now, I will transport you to the... The easiest way to kill this boss is to pick up this special serpent sword at the very start of the fight when you walk through the fog gate and just spam the light attacks on it. Once you've killed the area boss for Volcano Manor, go back to speak to Patches to progress his questline and he'll relocate to the Shaded Castle. This manner, the demigod beast is slain, and Tanith, a fine mess. But how else could it end? When? <laughs> well, here I am. Bye, my friend. Now, Patches relocates to the Shaded Castle just before the fog, fog gate for that boss for that area. I've already killed him, so I'm going to head to the area boss side of Grace and head backwards here along this bridge here you'll find Patches. Talk to him for the next item and progress his quest. You can kill him here to pick up all his items, but you're not going to get his gesture. The last gesture being Patches Crouch. Okay, once you've talked to him at the Shaded Castle and not kill him, head back down to his original starting spot in the Murkwater Cave and enter the Fog Gate. And yes, surprise, surprise, there's another chest. So we're going to open that chest and initiate another fight with Patches. And like at the start of this clip, you just want to get his health down to the point where he starts begging for his life and he's going to turn back into a merchant if you exit this area and reload it or fast travel back and make your way back here he'll be a merchant again but at this point here is where you're going to get the gesture for Patches Crouch if you do let him live So there you have it, you and Patches can now hang out with your new gesture. You know, it's not too late to kill him, 